Hey, it's Mike with Mike's Tutorials. Just here with a quick video on how to erase your computer. Say you're going to sell your Mac or give it to someone. Um, it's a really good idea to erase all the files on it um, so someone can sort of start over fresh and any personal info you have, financial data, photos, everything just gets erased. So before you do this, make sure you have your data saved somewhere. Uh, backed up or on say a different computer because this is going to erase everything and make it nearly basically impossible to restore um, uh, So to do this we're going to boot the computer into the Mac OS utilities also known as recovery mode And so to do that you're going to go to the Apple menu restart your computer or if it's off turn it on and Pretty much immediately hold down the command and R keys on your keyboard and you can hold them down until you see the Apple logo, at which point generally you can let go. For some reason, I just tend to just keep holding them down, but I, I think you can let go once you see the Apple logo. Uh, the computer is going to boot up, and instead of seeing your the login window or see your desktop, you're going to see this. You're going to see Mac OS Utilities. And this might look slightly different based on the operating system you have, but if, if you're running at least 10.7 or higher, you should have this mode that lets you uh, erase your system. Um, and there's other things you can do here too. just point out briefly you can uh, restore from a time machine backup uh, So if you wanted to restore your your computer back to an earlier date, you could do that. You can reinstall Mac OS You can access Safari You can use disk utility and up in the utilities menu. There's a couple other things you can do You can set a firmware password you, There's a network utility and there's terminal which lets uh, One of the things you could do with that is reset your password um, I can make another video on that if you want, let me know. But we're going to focus on disk utility. So I'm going to go into disk utility and click continue. And uh, this will open disk utility if you've ever used it on your Mac. It should look basically the same. Um, it'll show you your internal drives and any external drives you might have. Um, if um, Sometimes if you have File Vault turned on, your system might show up as being grayed out here and you might have to go to um, file I'm not going to see it here but you, you might see an unlock uh, option so look for that if it's grayed out basically what we're going to do here is you're going to click on your drive and you're going to click on erase and it says erasing Macintosh HD will delete all data stored on it and it cannot be undone. Provide a name and format and click erase to proceed. Now you may have heard that if you just format a hard drive that um, or erase a drive that the data could be recoverable. And that is true depending on the um, if it's a traditional hard drive or if it's a solid state drive. So if you have a regular uh, drive um, especially yeah basically what you want to do is you want to just locate it uh, I'll show you this this is a different disk that's attached to my Mac and if I click erase you will see a different button here that has security options and if you choose security options you can um, specify how many times um, the disk is overwritten with sort of um, random data or single passive zeros. So if you leave it on fastest, um, that's basically not secure at all. And a disk recovery application can recover the files. So you want to bump it up at least to one, um, or at least, uh, yeah, the minimum is a two pass, three pass, and seven pass. Depending on your operating system, you might have different, op slightly different options here. But you know, the most secure is seven times. That meets Department of Defense standards. Uh, you know, the long, the more secure you do it, the longer it's going to take, too. It can take hours and hours to finish it. But it, if you let it go overnight, usually that's fine. So I usually say either do a three or a seven pass erase. Um, and then it, it will uh, erase the disk. It will take some time to do that. Um, so you just click OK. You click Erase. And then you basically just wait a while. Um, uh, so if you don't see security options, that's okay. That usually, that tends to mean you have a solid state drive on your computer and, um, solid state drives, they, when you erase them, um, there's no need to, uh, write over the data. It's just the data is handled in a different way. It's handled, I guess, in a more secure way. It's not magnetic, I think is the issue. 
um, and when it's not magnetic, um, that Im there's no imprint where the data can be recovered. So, so you're you're totally fine if you don't see that. That's totally fine. Just erase it. Choose erase. Make sure you have a backup. Um, the format um, usually leaving it at what it is is the best way to do that. So APFS is new if you're running High Sierra and have a solid state drive. It'll be APFS. You should just leave it at that. Um, if it's an older system, uh, you can go to erase. It might say Mac OS extended, journaled. That's fine too. You can leave it at that. Um, so it's going to go through. It's going to take a while to do that. You just click erase. It's going to go through. And then if you want to be an extra nice person, uh, I think your next step would be then to quit disk utility and uh, reinstall macOS just so that when you hand it to someone, they can just go through the setup process. Because if you were to turn off the computer and turn it back on, it would, I, I think it would just start up with a question mark like because it can't find an operating system. So you would just want to choose reinstall macOS, click continue, and this will just guide you through the installation process. Um, so you just say continue and agree to the terms and choose the hard drive, choose your drive that you're going to install it onto. Um, and uh, once that finishes, then you can then turn it off. Um, See, so yeah, you just click on your drive, click install. It'll go through the installation. And um, then, yeah, turn it off and you're good to go. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, appreciate all the help. I uh, hope this was helpful and take care. Have a great day.